Ooh, what a way to start. Yeah, uh, I, did I did pause. You Don't know why. Hello, uh, visuals. Hello. And welcome back to the Visual Guys podcast with Dan and Chris and Ellie Mae Bark. Oh, fuck off, KSI. Fucking an idiot. Uh, uh, yes, hello. Welcome back. This is where we talk about stuff. Um, it's kind of loosely based on our film and entertainment shit, but kind of not. Um, right, yeah, I still want to talk about Netflix. Yes. Netflix. Uh, everybody, it, it's one of the biggest streaming things. Everybody, Netflixes and chills. Um, crazy shenanigans goes down. Netflix is cool. It's fun. When it first came out, I slagged it off to fuck. I hated Netflix. I thought it was pointless. So I was like, all it is is just a load of stuff I've seen a million times. What's the point of it? But Netflix, over the past few years, have given me some of my favourite fucking things. It was. It was. It's now fucking changed yeah yeah and it's got some heavy competition with stuff um but it's still giving me some of my like you know it's when a, when a series comes out like yes i get to sit and watch all of this it's gonna be fucking amazing and awesome um so i wanted to pose to you it can either be film or show because i know there's a load that you really do enjoy what's the best thing you've seen on netflix your favorite stuff because there's a fucking... I mean, I can rattle off a chunk. Straight off the top of my head, which I know you'll agree with me straight away, is is the likes of The Witcher. The Witcher, yes. Yeah. Titans. Yeah. Well, yeah. See, it's, 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 it's complicated. Right, see, this is why it's where it gets complicated. Yeah, yeah. We watch our stuff, really. So, uh, even I haven't really got Netflix. Yeah. So, I actually don't really know what's on Netflix compared to Diggy. So... Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. But no... I know Stranger Things was. Yeah, that's what I mean. You, you've watched so much... Like, it's given us Stranger Things. That's one of my favourite shows. Yeah. It's so fucking awesome. It's given us the likes of 13 Reasons Why. Yes. What an absolutely, just hauntingly beautiful that's fucking totally show. season two. Mate, honest to God... Uh, and, and then he does and Sabrina. Season, and season three. Sabrina. This is why I'm bringing it up because I've recently just smashed Sabrina. Well, I smashed it when it first came out. That is another groundbreaking. I know this kind of counts as CW, but it's also Netflix. Riverdale. Yes. And Sabrina mentions Riverdale. I'm kind of surprised you didn't watch Riverdale with the likes that you watch Sabrina. The new season of Sabrina is Riverdale heavy. They mention. I need to watch it. I will catch up. It is I'm up so... to date. Well, apart from one or two episodes. Oh no! Of what, do, what am I just saying? You don't watch. You do watch Riverdale. I do. Watch you Riverdale. fucking idiot, Dan. I am up to date. Well, apart from a couple of episodes of Riverdale, I am up to date with Riverdale. Yeah. Uh, but I need to watch Sabrina again. Sabrina and this this new series of Sabrina, oh, was creme de la creme. Creme Shows de la creme. like um, Sex Education season two just dropped. I've never watched that. Oh mate, eight episodes per season. You will fuck it. It's, it's right. What sex is it? Is it just a couple of students that go to school sex, learning about sex education? Nah. Well, uh, sex education is one of the most uniquely made shows of all time because it's a British show made in Britain. Oh, I saw Jim McCullough in it. Fucking um, uh, Scully. 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 X Files. Not as far as I'm aware. Oh, is that a different one? Go down. I'm going to say it's a different one. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, it's a British film. Uh, these kids got a Scott film series, but it's all American. As in, like, they do all the American stuff. They have cheerleaders. They have jocks. They have, like, um, they have, like, uh, what, like, the nerds, like, the quiz lot and stuff like that. And it's also, like, all the cars are really old. It's, like, a weird hybrid and it's done so amazingly and it it actually there's a few questions in it related to sex stuff that i've been curious about <laughs> and it answers them for you and you're like it's basically there's this there's this guy called otis whose mom's a sex therapist and kids at school are having trouble with their sex stuff and he pay they they pay him there's not scully i'm sure i've seen something familiar with this they pay him to give info uh agent Mulder and scully yeah, I, 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 as far as I'm aware, she's not in it, mate. Because unless there's another film where she is a sex therapist or, and she's got a son who goes to school and it's embarrassing for him because she's a sex therapist. And yeah, he's that, learning that, about, she's le he's learning about sex, but his mother's also talking to him about sex. Yeah, the, 
that that is what happens. But all the all, she she's American and she all the actors in this are British. British is she? Yeah. You know about his mum because his mum's not uh, agent from the X Files. Just type in sex education cast. We have Google. <laughs> uh, that if I if I go go up, have you got the cast there? No, I will. Right. Oh, queefed. The whole point I'm basically saying is Netflix have actually delivered some amazing original films and amazing fuck because I know they buy the rights to everything. Like you like the fucking. It is Scully. Where? Which one? <laughs> yeah. Oh, fuck off. Oh, is that her? Yeah. She played. Did, did she? Look on her. That bird next to her. Go to uh, Wikipedia. Oh yeah, they ages. I had no idea that was her. There again, I'm not a massive X Files fan. They, you love X Files. I know I do. Now you should watch it. She <laughs> she's a very dirty bastard in this. She's a proper dirty bastard. There's a girl in it. that's a proper. She's proper into like. Oh, it's this girl. Anime comic book. Amy Gibbs. Uh, no, well, not so not so much her. Where, where, where's the where's the crazy? Is that the crazy one? No, that's not. There's he's hilarious in it. Uh, she might not be. He is my fav- one of my favorite characters of all time. Who's the one that keeps getting mixed up with um, Margot Robbie? Is it her? Um, maybe people keep thinking it was Margot Robbie that's in this, but she's not. Is she? See him like it opens up with a scene, and she, they, them two are going out the time. She's like, "Do you want to spoof on my tits?" And uh, he's got a massive dick, but he's pure self conscious about it. He thinks every because he, he gets, gets to see all this. Uh, uh, not like I don't want to see kind, dick. Like, kind kind of he gets to see all this. Kind of, but his one line is just amazing because it 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 deals with people going on with issues in their lives in such a fucking phenomenal beautiful way okay and you sympathize with them and stuff and he's actually going through like a, he's like bi- bisexual and stuff there's a gay bloke in it who's who's dealing with with all that kind of stuff and they have to deal with the first time gay people have sex um because they do a thing called douching where they've got to clean out the, the butt <laughs> honestly i bet you learn so much it's amazing you learn about how fingering and stuff we should put a wand above this uh well but, it's all it's all fucking kids yeah made, isn't it? uh how uh, yeah how uh, like fingering and what's done and the real like proper good, good ways to have sex and it, it it's a it, it asks the questions which when you were young and you had no fucking idea what was what right. uh, uh, and you think new zealand where are you moving to New Zealand? Why? Uh, because, because I'm a right. Okay, what the fuck? These uh, yeah, Beale's messaging Chris some weird shit right now. Um, but sex education, I can't sell the show enough. It's phenomenal, Chris. It's 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 uh, it's absolutely. I'll give amazing. it a watch. Then. I'll give it a watch. It, it a watch. Yeah, it's just so. I said you returned. Yeah. Oh, mate. <laughs> the Royal Rumble. We predicted everything the same apart from the two rumbles. Yeah. And I got the two rumbles right. Drew McIntyre won. I know, it's fucking my boy got thrown out by Drew two, McIntyre. The last two, the last four were um, Seth Rollins, uh, Drew McIntyre, uh, Roman Reigns and Edge. And then obviously uh, Edge got Randy Orton out because they looked like, because they used to have a team, Team RKO, Team Rated RKO. And then the next night uh, on Raw, Randy Orton destroyed Edge, nearly tried snapping his neck, still chair, RKO's, everything was amazing. And, and Charlotte won the the, uh, the Women's Rumble, which was quite quite tough to call. I don't know who she, she was like, I'm going to announce who I'm fighting. Right, my announcement is, I'm having a fight at WrestleMania. She left the crowd hanging. Uh, Drew McIntyre's picked Brock Lesnar. He, he got Brock Lesnar out. It was amazing. Uh, cause, oh, dude, you got frustrated. Um, we, we will get back to the Netflix show in a sec. Um, Brock Lesnar was the first in, and every time somebody come down, he got him straight out, all the way up to like number 15. So it was just Brock Lesnar for half of the Rumble on his own. And then uh, Ricochet comes down, and he's doing his thing. I was like, oh, Ricochet, he's, you know, he's doing it. Drew comes down, I'm like, oh, it's my boy. It's my boy, Drew. Uh, and he, he, Brock Lesnar's still fucking him up. But Ricochet hits Brock Lesnar in the dick. And Drew McIntyre, Claymore kick, boom, Brock Lesnar out the ring. The crowd goes, I'm getting goosebumps. Fucking nuts. Drew McIntyre just spends like the next few minutes, people coming in, just looking out the ring, staring at Lesnar. And then the next night, Rory's like, I want Brock Lesnar. I don't give a fuck. We didn't say fuck. Hey, I want Brock Lesnar. It's fucking awesome. But yes, yeah, so please watch Sex Education. I will really do. Uh, yeah, you love The Witcher. You love, uh, love the, Witcher. Uh, uh, the Robinsons. I do. That's what I mean. Netflix have produced some really cool shit. And we are getting a season three. And <laughs> yeah, they are. And aren't they bringing back, or aren't Netflix the ones that are doing the Gremlins show? 
the Gremlins TV yes, show. Yes, they are. So, I mean, they, they come up... They, they did... Um, I don't know that they're not there anymore, but they were the ones kind of responsible for the likes of Daredevil, Luke Cage, Jessica Jones, The Defenders, Iron Fist. They've been... Um, They've been responsible for quite a fucking hell of a lot of really cool shit. They animate stuff, but it's awesome. It's it's just so a lot of Netflix content. Some of it gets probably highly praised, but some of it goes right under the radar. It does. Um, like you say it, it really does. But it's not just Netflix nowadays. It's I think because TV. Oh, TV is dying. It is. TV is dying. Yeah, all I you got need Sky, and I've never fucking watched yeah. it at all. Last, hardly watched it at all last year, apart from the British touring cars. Yeah, that's well, basically at the time I, and that is even on BBC fucking one. <laughs> no, ITV four, sorry. Well, it's the <laughs> likes of uh, Amazon now that they have the it's, rights to some football matches. For God's sake, you've, so you you've can got, even get your football on there. I can't sit like that. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll, we'll move again soon. Don't worry, we'll move again you've soon. You've got Amazon who's bringing fucking. Phenomenal TV series are out now, as well as films. Mm-hmm. You've got Disney, who's just been announced yeah. at the end of last year, who's going to be bringing a, a hell of a lot more shit out now. Mm-hmm. You've got either Apple TV now, yeah, which the the the, 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 the first show, the second show was the Jason. No, the first one was the one that you watched with your girl you like, Dickinson, liked. and then they released the Jason Momoa mm-hmm. show. And Dickinson is getting a season two. Yeah, uh, somebody said that in the comments a few months back. So I'm looking forward to season two of Dickinson. Yeah. But so I can understand why Netflix is kind of like, oh, okay, then we're gonna fucking continue bringing shit out. Yeah. Because it, it, Netflix was the it's the fucking, it was the OG of yeah, streaming. It was, and it does have shows which are untouchable, like Stranger Things and stuff. Because Stranger Things is fucking massive. But as far as I'm aware. They said season four and that's it for us. Yeah, that's it. That's all because it's with the who is the director? Uh, it's 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 brother. It's not the Russo. It's no. not the Russo brothers. Say, they're, Russo's. Yeah, they're the Avengers. <laughs> yeah, um, and Captain America. I think they directed Captain Americas as well. Uh, anyway, Avengers. Anyway, um, they're um, they've got a lot of awesome animated. Like if you watch, um, oh shit, what the fuck's it called? Or it's all about uh, the, the hormone monsters. Um, Big Mouth. Big mouth, yeah. Big mouth, shit like that's so much fun. Yeah, so so fucking cool. Uh, BoJack Horseman, uh, the new Simpsons thing, but it's not Simpsons. It's just created like the Simpsons by the Simpsons people. Um, I just when Netflix is saying right season three of whatever's out, I fucking I get so excited. Get in, and that's it. My Friday night till like my Sunday midday. It's mad how they sorted. actually started off in nineteen ninety seven. Yeah, they sent out. I remember years ago renting a game. And one DVD off Netflix that come through the post, mm. and uh, but you only had the game for like a week, and I was like, "This is a bit shit." And they accidentally released a porn. Did they? Yeah. If you watch my five fast facts, because I actually didn't. Um... Yes, you did. <laughs> oh, yes, you did. Netflix. <laughs> I didn't. This isn't even. I didn't do this because it. My my sort of podcast ideas are all done two weeks in advance, like my Super yeah. Bowl Wednesdays and that. Jesus Christ, that's weird as fuck. We just realised. I did five fast facts on Netflix, by the way. If you know it's, uh, you haven't checked that out. Yeah, please check that out. What the fuck? Yeah, they accidentally released whenever because the changeover from renting DVDs and games out to yeah. actually putting them on stream, they accidentally put a pop. Well, they put a documentary on 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 stream, mm-hmm. but certain countries, it was actually came out as a porn, a Chinese porno. <laughs> certain countries were getting yes. Chinese porno yes. other countries were getting uh, some documentary imagine that that's so fucking bizarre but yeah they've been around since 1997 that is absolutely mad 1997 yeah. uh, their documentaries are, are class the uh, net, like the the, uh, the alien one um, the one the guy that was on Joe Rogan's podcast his documentary I can't remember now fucking amazing their sports documentaries fucking amazing I love watching the prison ones when the I used prison to fucking one, watch it. The comedy specials, Joe Rogan's comedy special, amazing. But yes, the prison ones. I, I do watch all that fucking prison shit, like, because I, I can think they're brilliant. Yeah, they, they all are. All these they're... true life fucking stories about the, all these criminals and all that Yeah, shit. I just think some of the, my favourite TV, well, sorry, my favourite stuff to watch over the past few years has been off a streaming service, which I slacked off, slagged off for being a bit boring. I did it first. For, yeah, for, oh, why would I watch that? That's a film from 10 years ago. I've seen a million times. Why would I pay for that? 
And now look at it. It's got its own. They spend 15 million every year to upload to uh, update. Aren't but they not update for the streaming service? Yeah. The update for stuff we watch because obviously what we watch, they kind of say, right, you've watched that. You might like might, this. You might like this. I know they, they keep a track of when you pause and stuff. So if you're 12 minutes into an episode and you need a quick piss or a fag break or make a quick coffee or whatever. I know they keep track of when you pause, mm. which I don't know what has what relevance to it. Do you know? Uh, and they obviously keep track of how much you're watching or something before knocking it off and stuff like that. Could possibly, because they, they give you, doesn't don't they give you a percentage of ratings now? Yeah, yeah, like if we watch this, you'll probably like ninety five percent chance watch this. Yeah, watch this. It's uh, I I just think yeah I I I owe a big apology because it give me Stranger Things for reasons It give us a why. lot of decent stuff. Yeah, it's and they 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 they're the first maybe they're not but I think they're the first people to ever say right we're doing series. And instead of waiting weekly, you get everything on Warner. Yeah, they are first. And basically, yeah. they're also the first to give us a full-on streaming fucking brand new film. Without going to the cinema. Right. Which I, I, I kind of like and I don't like because I don't ever want the cinema to die. But I love being able to sit and watch a new film. Just Obviously, I don't as well because I enjoy going to the cinema. Yeah. But I think it will at some point. If yeah. you think it will be streamed. Well, di- like if Disney now... They can say, right, sweet, Avengers 6. Yeah. It's available only on Disney+. Plus. Makes up, yeah. And you'll be like... But the only thing is, when stuff gets streamed, it's online illegally right away. Whereas if it's out the cinema, it's all bad copies, isn't it? It, 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 can, it can be, but... If you just upload it there and then. Hmm. And that's it, because Amazon, uh, Apple TV... Like, Dickinson, you can now watch Dickinson legally. Online now, but when it first, when Dickinson first came out, fucking like whenever it was two months ago, you, yeah. you you couldn't find it on any streaming service. You couldn't. Nah, apart from Apple TV. Where well, wasn't it on any other sites? No, was it not? No, nah. but now it's on other sites. So yeah. I think it will come to the point where they'll release it on that day, and that's it. You won't be able to fucking try and find it anywhere or whatever else. Yeah. Some Netflix stuff does get really cinema as well. Like, I remember the Hitman's Bodyguard, Ryan Reynolds and Sam Jackson was a Netflix film. Yeah. But you could watch it in select theatres. <laughs> they're game changing. Changing it. Test. Aren't they in loads of debt? I'm sure they're in loads of debt for the amount of stuff they buy and they can only pay stuff off once the, f- the stuff's come out. I'm sure I read somewhere there. South Park did an episode... <laughs> So I've worked in an episode where you just literally ring up Netflix and you just say, hi, I've got a story here. Uh, it's about a guy. He does this and it's the end. Oh, yeah, okay, we'll give you four million for, for five, five seasons, okay? Because literally you can ring up Netflix and say, I've got an idea for this film. Okay, we'll buy it. We've got the rights. See, what, what Netflix has thought about, which is, again, I another reason why I've left Netflix is because they fucking continued Lucifer for me. Yeah, they did. They saved your... Fucking your they saved Lucifer. They give me season four, which is what I wanted, and they said, look, we'll finish it off with season five as it was supposed to be. Yeah. Um, so they listen to the audience. That's what yeah. Netflix do. So yeah, they listen. don't mind getting into a little bit of debt because they know fine well that they're going to get it back through their audience. Yeah. And that's, like I said, that's how a lot of people, or a lot of streaming services are doing nowadays. They are listening to the audience. And they're like, okay then, well, yeah, you like want this. this, we'll spend a little bit of money and we'll give you this. And, but I completely agree with you 100%. Sometimes it can be dicks by just cancelling stuff. Oh, yeah. Uh, I watched a show on it called Santa Clarita Diet, which I know for a fact you'll love. Santa Clarita Diet, it's... Oh, My it's, family that eat people. Yeah, but it's done in such a really cool way. It's, it's really fucking awesome. Plus, there's a great mystery story behind it. Yeah. And it's a little bit uh, eerie and stuff. Fucking awesome. Nah, sorry, it's cancelled. All right, okay. Yeah, they are bad for cancelling. The, the Marvel stuff, I can't guarantee what was happening there because we don't know if Disney got involved and says, no, we're going to start doing these. I think do... Disney got involved. To the... That could in be the, the case. They own, own the rights, but so... At the time, though, at the time, we didn't know what the crack was and all of no. a sudden you'd wake up one day, boom, Defenders is cancelled. Next day, Luke Cage is cancelled. Next day, you're like, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah. So we wouldn't know Punisher cancelled. I go, what? 
Are you mad? Like I say, that side of things, I think obviously Disney on the right, well, Marvel at the time on the rise, and with all the fucking intertwining with fucking everything else. Is yeah. Right, well, we're making our own streaming service from such and such, so no more Yeah, because apparently, what did you say, Captain Marvel may have Jessica Jones in it, mm-hmm. and then you said um, Daredevil might be in Spider-Man, heard nothing about Luke Cage, heard nothing about uh, Iron Fist. And you said the Punisher's getting a solo film. You said a solo film. I hope Luke Cage and Danny Rand get a Heroes for Hire film, or at least a show on Disney Plus. That would be phenomenal. Right, just wrap it up though, because we'll go for one more five and blah blah blah. What is your favourite thing Netflix have ever produced? (sighs) Or ever made? Film or show wise? I have to think about this as well. I think. Oh. That's hard. It is fucking hard. Because like. like I said, I don't watch anything on Netflix. It doesn't matter where, so like, as long as it's something that they've made. That's what I mean. I'm trying to, I'm trying to figure out what they've made because I don't watch it on Netflix. So I'm trying to figure out what. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, the stuff we've talked about, like the shows, like The Witch, uh, like, uh, well, I'll just say it now, 13 Reasons Why, which is my favourite thing. I think it just beats Stranger uh, Things. Right. Well, see, I love Stranger Things. Yeah. I love The Witcher. Yeah, Robinsons. Oh, that's what I mean. I love you, Robinsons, but they're all in their own little categories. So I, I know, really but, I know. But off. which one? Which one got your mouth watering to to oh. really smash? I might have to say the Robinsons. Fair enough. I know because you. When I was, I, was, I watched season one, and I fucking fell in love with it. Yeah, and that. I waited. I was patient, but I waited. Yeah. A fucking year and a half for season two. Yeah. And I'm now going to wait another fucking year for season well, three. Fuck yeah, mate, we've got to wait Jags for fucking Stranger Things. <laughs> fuck you, I've just been bigging you up Netflix, you pricks. They need to hurry up with that shit, yes. But I was so lucky when I found out that we're getting a season three. Uh, sorry, season two. I was fucking. Yes! Yes! Where. The rest of the stuff I watched, like Riverdale and again, Stranger Things, I was happy, but not as excited as I was Stranger Things. But I was even more happier when yeah. they took Lucifer on. See, <laughs> uh, it would have been. See, Thirty Reasons Why is my favourite. Season two was was good. I enjoyed it, but it was it was in season two. I was excited for it. I was I could not wait because season one was so magical. And like I said, I fucking loved it for uh, being a show that was willing enough and brave enough to talk about the stuff that it talks about yeah. and show the stuff that it show, like the the scenes where Hannah physically committed suicide and stuff. I just thought, I thought as a creative choice, well, maybe some people need to see this and need to talk about this and stuff. Cause I, I feel like it's a show that may in the, in the long run actually have helped people. I feel like it could have done. It. I know a lot of people say it could cause harm and caused issues and that, that made suicide cool. Whoever fucking said that's a fucking idiot. Um, but I feel like in the long run, and I just I just remember watching it and feeling so emotionally attached to so many different scenes, and that it was it was it was phenomenal. And then season three, would they brought it right back for me? I thought this is this is outstanding because they started it off. I never can't remember a show that's ever done this. They started it off with the big punch. It wasn't like because they said the straight away the trailer who called Bryce Walker. Hmm. So they've already told us one of their main cast is dead. And that's what we're going to be talking about. Usually you have to wait. You'd get a few episodes in. Then that happens and you work out together. They said, no, tell him straight away. Bryce Walker's getting killed. It's up to you as an audience member and thinking to work out who did it. Yeah. And I was like, oh my God, I can sit down. People are thinking, cap on. I got it wrong. Uh, and, and get away. And thought, oh. I mean, I genuinely thought it was Clay. You haven't seen it yet. Better shut up. <laughs> better shut up. Like season season one. Yeah. Better <laughs> shut the fuck up. But yeah, that's not a spoiler about Bryce Walker Day, and it's it, it's what they announced on their trailer. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll say no more when you get there. Bryce Walker was the dickhead that uh, one of the dickheads that raped Hannah on the slide. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm moving away from that for a minute. Yeah. Did Netflix do Society? Yes, they did. That's another great show. When Which, the fuck is that back? That got cancelled. Uh, has it cancelled? Yeah. Fucking prick. Why did they get cancelled? No. Are you mad, mate? Because it showed us them at the, the building, the dog, <laughs> come in. Oh, yeah, he's supposed to talk about that show. And speaking to her mum, Detective mm. Pikachu. 
Are you mad? Oh, I've already just fucking kicked on. Yeah, I completely forgot about that show. That was amazing. Because I, I said to you to watch it. Mm. Oh, fuck, why did they do that? Why would... I've told Alan at work, he'll be fucking gutted because he keeps asking me if they want it back on. I'm like, I'm sure it's soon. Because it was a post that'd be on just before Christmas. Is that what it was? Mm. Why did they cancel that? I hope somebody picks that up. Because when Netflix cancels something, do they therefore still own the rights or is it just sat there in a drawer that they can either pick it back up again or sell it off? I assume that's what the case is, yeah, isn't it? That's yeah, that's what the case is. So somebody could say, right, well, that's a but site show. They also anything. got off their audience as well. If their audience, it's like, well, suppose they really, if their ratings are lower on it, they'll be like, nah, well, we won't make a fucking next season then. As a, Even though the as a business like model, started yeah. it or fucking... There's nothing, there's there's nothing worse when they do something, you enjoy it, they leave a massive cliffhanger and they say, yeah, we're not doing it anymore. And it's like, well, it's like basically giving me a hand job or a blow job, wait until I'm about to jizz and say, right, see you later, bye. Yeah. And you're like, oh, what the fuck? Yeah, it's fucking shit. Yeah, I'm depressed now. Yeah, but... Um, and yeah, birds are fucking evil doing that shit as well. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, we, we'll leave it there, visuals. <laughs> let us know what your favourite Netflix thing is ever, uh, or just, if you want, let us know what your favourite colour is. Whatever, it's up to you. What's your favourite colour? Green. green. Yeah, he yeah, knows green. Yours is black like your soul. That's not really a colour, though. Right, people say that. White and black isn't a colour. Silver's a colour. Well done, I appreciate that. Not seeing, <laughs> not, not seeing colour. Not seeing black or white. You're not seeing race there, Chris. But You're just blue. people. Blue's my favourite colour. What's your least favourite colour? Least favourite? Ooh, probably yellow. Mine's red. I fucking hate red. I know it's, you said you don't want to uh, do like red cars. I do, will do anything to do with red. Yeah. Oh, sorry about cars. Oh. Andy just bought a Mercedes. Fair enough. And just... Speak about cars. Mm. Uh, uh, eight grand. He got three grand for a white Volkswagen. Polo. Maybe. Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe. Uh, yeah. Speaking of cars, I'm getting a new one. Oh, you said the other the other week. A guy from work. He's going to take yours. No. Oh, is it a different deal? No. What deal is it? Uh, where, where are you get it from? Work. You're just buying it on finance or some shit. It's not going to be my car. Yeah. What? It's a company car. Are oh, they giving you a company car? Have they, has anyone else got a company car? Yeah, they're going around asking people if they want a car. I put my name down with it. So what do you do? You do? do you pay for the fuel and stuff still? I pay for the fuel, pay the tax. And that's it. But it's your car? Not my car, sp- personally. But can you take it wherever you want? Yeah. And I can. I change it every year. I get a brand new car every year. So that, and you just pay for the tax? Is it there's, a, there's no tax. Well, the tax. When you, when you get a brand new car, the, the car gets taxed for the first year anyhow. Hmm. So I don't have to pay for that because it's it's you get a new car. So you just got to pay fuel. I've just got to pay fuel, and my insurance. Uh, and your insurance, or do you have to buy a new car? No. Is it a new car you get as well? Do you get like a choice? Uh, yeah, there's a choice. Uh, I have a choice out with this one, a four wheel drive or a people carrier. And I've got the little Kia C. Is it a diesel car? One point four petrol. Yeah, I and like can, it. And you it's can take it wherever you want. It's so a GT spec, so it's got all the mud cons. So and if you're there. spending a weekend away somewhere... So if I'm off on holiday for two weeks... You take the car? As long as... Because uh, I'm limited to so many miles a year, to 12,000 miles a year. Is that easy to keep down a on th- that? A thousand miles a month. I don't even do that in a fucking... Well, that car, yeah. my car, I've had it six years. Um, I got it on 99,000 miles. Yeah. I've just done 140. That's in six years. So that's basically 41,000 miles in six years. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> so, <laughs> there you go then. Oh, sweet. Yeah, and I went everywhere in that car, as yeah, you know. Yeah, I, I was going to say, I, I have no idea as a, as a non-driver if a foul, as 12,000 12, miles a year is a lot or not. Well, I suppose even if, what is it, from like here to uh, London, it's like 400 miles. Mm. So in back, it's only 800 and I mean, a you, thousand miles, you know, a, a thousand miles a month, basically. You know, imagine, if, imagine if you get to like a month left of giving the car back, and you got like five miles left on you. Like, fuck. <laughs> but anyway we will leave it there visuals we'll go for another fag and go on our merry way and stuff. What's your favorite Netflix show? Uh, what's your favorite color? And do you have a car? There you go. Uh, visuals, keep it here, keep I'm on, keep it on. Car. Yeah, do it. Uh, do it. Give me one. I'm gonna buy a little remote control car. <laughs> <laughs>
No, I've got my Lego Batman one. It has no speed in it whatsoever. No, well, one you can sit and you can drive. Oh, fuck. Yeah, like the, like the kid's toy car thing. Yeah. That'd be fun. I'll buy you a Hummer. We're going on the street. You can give me a Hummer. Cool, cool. <laughs> oh, God, just keep it. You'll keep on giving on. I do, right? Uh,